So here we are in camp. Just trying to get this fire all set up. Just using some cedar here. Making a nice little teepee. Got a few pieces of paper here. Came from my mat that I'm gonna use also. In the future, I probably will do some survival fire uh, videos. But for now, I'm just here to have a good time. Got to cook some steaks. So. Hey, you got a lighter on you? Corey caught a fish. He's cleaning his fish. Oh man, look at that big old hog. What is that? 12, 18 inches? Heck yeah, man. <laughs> two feet, man. Well, one of the uh, unfortunate things with fishing with bait, sometimes you gut hook them, they're not going to survive, so you eat them. What? It's all right. A little surf and turf. You got a lighter on you? I got some on there. What is this? Yeah, stuff from last year. Stuff like oh yeah, let's use that in the morning. I'm cold and I don't feel like doing anything. Now we got a nice little fire started. What we're trying to do is um, get a nice little bed of coals going, preferably with some oak, so that we can cook our steaks on top of this thing. Take a look at our steaks here. There they are. All right, so we got to season those guys up. Found this while we were up here hiking around. All right, perfect. Nice little barbecue. So we'll throw them on there. We'll get those things all grilled up. As soon as this cooks down, we get a nice good hot bed of coals. While I'm letting that fire burn down, I'm going to go ahead and season up these steaks. There we go. There's the magic. He's up here. Just getting good on both sides. And there we go. Season. All right. All right, let those sit. Let that burn down. When we get started. All right. Grilling up a little appetizer. Get that fish cooking. We seasoned it up with the same stuff that we did the steaks. Threw a little bit of butter in there. So we'll let that cook nice and slow. It won't take more than five or 10 minutes and it'll be ready to eat. All right. Looks like appetizers are done. Whew. Got some heat to her. Alright, so for those of you that are wondering how I'm going to do this, if you grab it by the head, that's why we left the head on, you grab it by the head and you get underneath that, 
and it pulls it all out, no bones. You flip it, do the other side. Pulls it all out, no bones. And that's how you do a trout. That's a good seasoning. It is, huh? All right, guys, bon appetit. Wish you were here with me to enjoy this. Cause you're missing out. Mm -mm -mm. Here, I won't take the last bite because you caught the fish. <laughs> Bro code. Yep. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you cook a fish on the campfire. Coming up next, steaks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is steak time. So, yeah, those spelled out nicely. Come right over here. Got our bed of coals. I know you can't tell us. See, it looks like we got the light. Oh yeah, yeah. We got coals. Oh, look at that. Let those babies do their thing. Nice. Just gonna let them cook right there for about seven minutes. We're gonna flip, cook them for about seven minutes on the other side. Should be good to go for a medium rare steak. All right guys, we just flipped the steaks. Now we're gonna get started over here. We're gonna get started on the side dish. What do we have for our side dish? Smoky cheese and bacon. Mashed potatoes. You got the water ready? Put that there. That's All right. Nice. You got the lighter? Got a lighter? I don't have a lighter. I thought you had a lighter. It might be in my pocket. <laughs> nope. I got too many pockets. Nope. Nope. Yes. Last pocket. It's always the last pocket that you check. That makes sense. Ooh. Flare up. It's getting cold out here. All right, guys, so we're gonna boil this water. We're gonna add the mashed potatoes to it. Once it, uh, you know, sits for, how long does it gotta sit, what? Five minutes? Minute. Minute? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's not even that much. Bad. So once it sits, our steak should be done. We cleaned off a nice little rock over here where we're gonna serve them. So, stay tuned. I've seen a lot of silhouettes in my life, but there's nothing quite as good as a food silhouette. Time to add the taters. Be careful that when you're adding the taters, that you whisk constantly. Otherwise, you'll get clumps. And nobody likes clumpy taters. I think that's a rule or an amendment or something. <laughs> no clumpy taters. You got it? Take your time. You're not in a hurry. You're not at work. You're in the mountains eating taters that aren't clumpy. Yep. All right, so we're gonna be very careful and I'm not making any promises. These might end up in the dirt. Now we're gonna transfer these over here. It's our resting rock. We're gonna let these rest. Oh, this guy right here, he's the sampler. Oh. Oh, oh, dropped them in the coals. It's okay, that's extra flavor, folks. Look at that. We're gonna eat that bad boy right there. Brush a little of that off. Oh, perfect. Perfect. We'll let those rest while the potatoes, the potatoes, while the taters are cooking over there. Unclumpy, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for sticking with us this far. Just cut up some wood, we got the fire going again. Steaks are still resting. Taters are done. Corey, is it time to eat? It's time to eat, man. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We're gonna eat these steaks and then hang out by the fire. Smoke some stoves, a little bourbon. What's it look like on the inside? A little bit of pink. It's hard to see in this light. Perfectly done. Oh yeah, some good stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, it's been fun.
now. It's time to do the dishes. And make some dessert. Till next time, keep tuning in. Hit that subscribe, hit that like.